Hello, the internet, and welcome to my last review of Pokemon Month. Uh, sorry, this is a little bit later than expected. I've been writing the script of the top ten. You getting excited? I am as well because my fortune from my Chinese yesterday said I would do it in time. Seriously, it did. But let's carry on with Generation Five. One, uh, uh, probably the most hated of the generations. Don't know why. Don't care. Oh yeah, the mu ice cream and the rubbish bag. Eh, they're not that bad Pokemon. Ice cream is actually really good. Uh, but let's start with the main series. Pokemon. Black and white. These games are amazing, people. I don't care what any of you say that, oh, the star Ooh, there's a pig starter that's pretty much bacon. Or, ooh, ice cream. Or, ooh. Ooh, that... Black and white racist? No, it's it's none of those things. This is just really good games. I per uh, personally I got the white one, not because I am white, it's because I prefer the Pokemon that was uh, advertised with the white version. Mainly because he has arms. And the other one doesn't have arms. And technically I want to battle with someone with arms. Yeah, because then he can punch. He can only go, eh, I'm flapping your wing, I'm flapping my wings at you, eh. Yeah, what did this add? It added rotation battles and triple battles. Triple battles, um, what, what do you expect from them? It's three Pokemon at once, except for two, uh, instead of one or two. But, rotation battles is where you have one Pokemon out, but two Pokemon on the sidelines. It's much more strategy, there's not much in the actual storyline, but it's really fun to play with friends. And by friends, I mean one person that I don't like anymore, who um, I played with about five, uh, one, one or two times. So yeah, friends. Uh, next, uh, next on the agenda, Pokemon Black and White Two. Black and White Two is amazing. I uh, personally, I don't like the design for white for the. Yeah, for the white po for the white twos Pokemon, it just looks a bit weird. But except for that, amazing, fantastic, so much fun. Uh, I went for black version because I prefer electric types. So yeah, woo! But yeah, oh my god, this game is probably in my top five DS games, right up there with the gold, gold or gold remakes. Oh my god. Um, before we move on to the, how do I put it, the spin-offs, I want to talk about the thing that people get most annoyed by this generation with. The designs. Okay, people, the designs are fantastic, uh, are not that bad. Personally, they're my favourite designs out of the whole series, you know why? Because Game Freak stopped caring. And that's how we got things like Trubbish. Not a, great, uh, not a great design, but still pretty good overall Pokemon. It's not fantastic, but it's still uh, it's still usable. Um, you got uh, Vanillish. I love the concept for the Vanillish. I can't lie. Ice cream Pokemon, good idea. Because ice cream is tasty. And also, of course, it has a fantastic moveset. And don't forget, there's a Pokemon that is a Steel Ant that and a Pokemon that is a fire anteater, and they're in a war to get uh, against each other. That is just cool. So can we please stop complaining about the Pokemon and the Pokemon designs? These are good, not, pro uh, and some of the best that I personally think that the series had. Now on to the spin-offs. First spin-off is not exactly a spin-off. It's an add-on to the dr uh, called Dream Raider. You're probably wondering, what is Dream Raider? I don't know what Dream Raider is. Dream Raider is a th uh, thing that was added to the 3DS, but for some reason you had to pay for. That was meant to he uh, meant to boost sales of the 3DS, bec even though Black and White 2 is not for the 3DS, it's for the DS. You can kind of like capture special legendaries that only appear in... Um, well, it's forms of legendaries that only appear in Dream Raider. Like uh, the three genies have different forms. You can also get new items and new Pokemon, that sort of stuff. 
with this. It's a great concept, not fantastically done, but fan really well put together. Uh, next is that is an out yet list. Pokemon a mystery dungeon Gates to Infinity. I've played it. Uh, by the time that that review I was talking about said, I played it once at a friend's. It's fun. I I I prefer it than the other ones mainly because I've uh mainly because it is easier. <laughs> that that's pretty much uh, that's probably a bad thing to say that it's easier, but I don't really mind it being easier. Plus, I, I just kind of I I prefer the graphics. I prefer that you uh that you can actually pick. I d one thing I don't like is that you can pick which Pokemon, instead of going through the whole process, because I prefer the process! The process is awesome! That's one of the best things about Pokemon uh, Ranger. I remember, uh, not Ranger, um, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I used to just play the game for that, for a span, when I didn't like the game. I used to, uh, I used to kind of like get different questions, answer them, and then uh, see what Pokemon I would be. So much fun. Never got my favourite Pokemon, which may or may not be coming in my top ten, so I won't reveal it now. <gasps> oh yeah. Pokemon Conquest. This is the best spin-off. Hands down, best spin-off of all Pokemon time. Don't know about the next generation, but oh my god. This is so much fun. This is what you're seeing on the screen right now. But oh my god, this game is so much fun. So amazing, so brilliant, so well crafted. The graphics aren't great, but they're gre uh, but they are very good for DS standards. And oh, the storyline, fantastic! It's a bit short, but wow, with the random encounters—not random encounters, random battles that other enemy people can do—it's amazing. It's just really fun. I, I'm gonna stop talking about it, or I'm just gonna go. Oh my god, it's so amazing! Oh my god. Pokey Park 2. Eh. It was okay. Wasn't great. Wasn't. Wasn't. Uh, personally, I prefer Pokey Park 1. Even though you can only play as Pinkachu and that. And you can play as Tepic, which is awesome. Tepic is awesome. Don't care what anybody says. Snivy. I don't care what anybody says that's saying that Snivy and Oshawa are better. Tepic, in my mind, is the best. The best. The best. But I'm gonna stop doing that now. Next is Pokemon Rumble Bar a Blast. Yeah. Or Super Poke is po or Super Pokemon Rumble if you're in other countries. I don't know what countries they are. Don't ask. Don't don't ask. <coughs> this is the sequel to Rumble uh, Rumble for the Wii, which is this game is definitely better than Rumble. It has actually got a plot more than. Oh, there's some Pokemon like Mewtwo and these guys who are very good at tournaments. You have to be them and be the best at a tournament. By the way, I won. Um, just a little ta uh, just a little story. I won that game with a Slowbro. Slowbro beat Mew Mewtwo. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, fantastic game. Not great, but really, really fun and definitely worth the money. Um. Pokédex 3D and Pokédex 3D Pro. Haven't got Pro. Don't plan to get Pro because it's so expensive for what it is. But eh, it's useful-ish. If you need something on the go on your 3DS, it's good-ish. So learn with Pokémon Typing Adventure. Yeah, this is probably the most silliest idea from Pokemon ever. I haven't got it. Don't plan to get it. But seriously, Game Freak. A typing game. A typing game. I don't want to be learning. I, I heard people say it was very good. Say it was quite challenging. I don't care. It looks stupid. Also, why is it not on the 3DS? Meh. And, oh yeah, there's also a Pokemon app which is really bad, which is pretty much the 3DS thing, but, uh, 3DS Pokédex, but you have to pay for the other regions. Well, you have to do that with Pro anyway, but I'd rather have it on my 3DS than my DS. Not my, not my DS. My iPod or iPhone or iPad or iPod Nano, I don't know. But yeah. 
Sadly, that is it for spin-offs with this generation. There wasn't many spin-offs with this generation. It was like a few. It wasn't as bad as uh, Generation 2 that where there was kind of like three. Seriously. Uh, but overall, what do I think of the games? Fantastic. The main games are great. Uh, spin-offs are really fun as well. Not all of them are great ideas. But amazing, amazing, amazing. Now onto the TV. Oh god, not the TV. They shouldn't have got rid of Brock. They could have had Silent and Brock. Silent is an okay character. Don't like the voice actor for him. For some reason he just rub rubs me the wrong way. Or is she? I'm not sure. I don't know who it is, but um, it just rubs me the wrong way that... Uh, that voice actor, I don't know why. Um, Iris is awful. Hands down. Only funny thing is that Axew sometimes pops out of her hair. She has humongous hair. Ash's clothes look weird. Uh, something, some weird, um, Oshawott is too used for comedy when sometimes, when Snivy and Tepig are just there, standing in the background, not doing their funny things. But they could be doing funny things, and Oshawott's just going, Oh, look at me, I'm an Oshawott. <laughs> and Tepig's just going, uh, just talking over the snow, he's just like, Do, do you want to go somewhere? And just leave him doing this. And Snivy says, Yeah. And then they run off and together, and then they make little, the form, strange Snivy and Tepig babies. I think Snivy was a girl and Tepig was a boy. Uh, that's going weird. But yeah, I don't like this, uh, this series. It's really not good. I liked kind of like five episodes of this. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, let's look at the movies, which are better. First one is... Oh, God. Now, it's time for a long title. Victini and the Black Hero. Or... Vi uh, oh, I mean... Victini and the Black Hero, Zekrom. Or Victini and the White Hero... Reshiram. Eh. The, no. It's a fantastic idea. And I think they did it well. For like having two films. Different things in each of the films. Like some characters will have this Pokemon. Some characters will have that Pokemon. And overall it's different story. I mean Ash kind of like teams up with different characters and the bad guy gets it of other characters. It's okay as a concept. I just think they could have done it so better. Like have exclusive uh, also here's another good thing that they did with this. If you went to a theater with your 3DS, apparently I don't know if this happened in my country because I don't even think it was on in theaters in, my, in England. But apparently you can get Reshi Ram or Zekrom depending on which movie you saw. Which is a fantastic, let's say I got black, and I got Reshi Ram. If I go to the white film, I can get Zekrom. Then they will get it, then I will have both legendaries. So that was a very cool concept that they did there. But I think they could have done it better. Uh, next is... The problem with this one is I haven't seen any other Pokemon movies yet. I know I know there's more. I know there's kind of like one more and another one coming out. But I haven't seen any of them because I've not been interested in the TV show. It's just bored me so really with the new characters and stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry this uh, the movie section is just one movie, but I haven't seen any of them so I really can't comment. But speaking of which, I heard they're going to make a fan series season. I'm ha I'm excited. I, I I heard that they're going to try and get all the characters back, and yeah, that would be good. I might actually get interested again, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that's the end of that, I guess. You may be wondering, am I going to do a review of Generation Six? Uh, when I will do it when they either a decide, ooh, let's make a Generation Seven, 
or B, they say, that's the end of Pokemon. Which I, I hope they never do, because Pokemon is the best thing ever. I love it, and I don't care what any of you say. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, it, it, in either of those two circumstances, yeah, circumstances, I will review Generation 6, because I need to wait for Generation 6 to end. I'll I'll probably do it in the month of May because I'm gonna try and make month of May every year Pokemon month. Did I mention that? <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think I I guess I'll see you next time for the top ten electric types, which I am um, like halfway done with the script. If you wanted to know, and uh, according to my fortune cookie, it will be done. Uh, it will be done in time. So yeah. You better not be lying to me, fortune cookie. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye 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 bye. Didn't I sing the bye last time? Yeah, I can't remember. Bye.